Guys, same process as usual, there'll be mics either side of the room. If you can please introduce yourself by name and organisation. We'll set an embargo halfway through for 10.30 on Sunday night ahead of the Monday day. Uh, Pep, good afternoon. Um, I'm sure you'll be aware that a young fan revealed this week that Raheem Sterling had sent him a letter after he was the victim of racist abuse, a letter of support which he sent through the club. Um, footballers don't have to be role models, in fact most of them get negative press, but does this show once again the positive impact that Raheem and others like him can have on people's lives? Mm, definitely. Definitely, yeah. We, we, we are quite often in the media, so if the young players like Raheem can show the real values, it's good impact, it's good. Obviously, you've had lots of games in the last few days. Just talking about the Burton game for a moment, Kevin De Bruyne played another 58 minutes as he continues his recovery. When he came off, he didn't look overly pleased to have, be having to leave the field and be substituted. Did you have to speak to him about that after the game? Was he just disappointed? What was the reason for no. that? I didn't speak with him. Okay. Um, and you've obviously made it clear this month that you're not going to do any transfer business. Speaking more generally about the window in January, what are the limitations of trying to either buy or sell players in this month? No, the transfer window is here the same like in summertime. Maybe shorter, but or not, I don't know. But it's a chance for the clubs to, to do something for the people, for the new players or the players who want to leave. But uh, it's a good, you know, it's a... It's a good opportunity for all the clubs to, during the season not going well, or you imagine you can be better, so do something. But you rarely do business in January. I just wondered why specifically you find this month is more difficult maybe to do business. I mean, is that the reason? What? No, sometimes, sometimes we, we have done. But uh, normally when we want to buy one player, it's for the next four, five, six years. And normally these kind of situations in this transfer window doesn't happen. So for long players maybe it can happen for a short time, for a, but I think the big clubs don't buy a players for, for just six months, for a four or five and important players don't, they are not sell it in that period. So if you don't have no injuries and you are satisfied, like this in our case with the players or the squad we have, so we, we decide to going well or going bad with the same players we start of the season. Pep, Mandy Henry from Premier League News. Uh, Wolves have got a result against everybody else in the top six so far this season. What makes them such a tough team to play against? Well, we realised on that last season when we played Carabao Cup against them in the first game in the Premier League in the beginning of the season, we realised how complicated it would be for them, most of the teams. So they are strong physicality, good set pieces and incredible players for the runs in the counter-attack. They are not just one, two, there are three or four. And especially when you are tired in the last minutes, always they put in on two th new players to do that. And they defend really well deep. They made a lot of switch of play in that moment they attack. So they control many, many areas in the set pieces offensive, defensive with Moutinho. Ruben Neves uh, shot the shoot from out of the 18 yard box. So that's why. That's why he's new promoted and doing incredible well in, in the Premier League. I just wonder your views on which side is more under pressure. You've, you've been in the situation last season of being at the top of the league, trying to stay top. Now you're trying to chase Liverpool. Who's under more pressure? I prefer to be in the Liverpool position. Simon, Simon Stone, BBC. Uh, Gabriel Jesus obviously did really well the other night. He mentioned afterwards that his family are going back to Brazil. Will that... Do you have to take a, a, a closer eye, keep a closer eye on him? Because it clearly is, for a young, a young player like that, family is a very a big support mechanism. The players know, everybody knows, we are an incredible club. Like they, t they try to take care of all of us, all the people who's working in this organisation. But um, the private lab is a private lab. If they need something, we are there. The club is there to help, but of course, you cannot substitute the mother or the you know the family when cannot be there is 
it's difficult, but it's, it's what it is. They have to handle that situation. Of course, he's not alone. He has friends, own friends. I think he has an incredible relation with the special Brazilian guys like Danilo, Fernandinho, Eddie, Bernardo, uh, many, many players uh, here. So I think he's, he will not be a problem for, for, the, for the next time. Is it something that you personally have to micromanage or do you have to rely on your coaching team or your members of staff because you have so much to do but do you have to pay particular attention? Yeah, of course. We'd, normally when we talk about that it's about the performance of the players, the performance of the team or how is this player doing but we don't know in the private life in the private life affect a lot in the performance and the, you know, for a short or medium time so that is normal. When we are happy in our lives, we are better in our jobs. The players are the same. Sometimes, myself in the first one, we judge the players. Sometimes, n really, don't know what happened in the private life and what can happen. And, and, and it's a big influence in their performance week or day by day or three days, game by game. So, and you have to try, you know, to help them. And only we can do, only we can tell them is we are here. So anytime, anywhere, so when you have any problems that can happen, so we're going to try to help you. In the case from Gabriel, it's, it's, it's like this. So more than that, I don't know what <laughs> we should do. I don't know. Thank you. Pep Don McGuinness, TalkSport. Can you just give us um, an update on any injuries? We know, obviously, long term with Mendy, with Bravo, but any niggles, any problems going into this game? Uh, uh, well, uh, Sergio was the last after just right after the game against Liverpool was influenced, was sick, it's still a little bit better. Yes, it was the first training session, so it's getting better, but was out with a lot of fever the last days, and, and Vincent is is recovering also as well. With a after again the game against Liverpool is is getting better. The rest, I think, it's. They are fit. Both should be fine for Monday? Uh, I hope so. I don't know, really right now, but I hope so. And just with this time of year, many clubs, uh, for one reason or another, get the chance to go away for a few days, warm weather training, because of the four competitions. You've not had the chance. The last two years you did, this year you haven't. Is, how much of a problem is that, not getting that little bit of sunshine, that little bit of a break? Would be a dream. <laughs> Everybody's invited you if you want to join us. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> but the Guardian may be going to kill you. <laughs> or not allow you. Um, <laughs> you will be invited, I promise you. <laughs> um, but last season, when the, this period was quite similar, and after Wigan beat us in the FA Cup and we take time to, to go there, so I don't know. You see the schedule, this morning I saw the schedule because Everton game is going to fix in another week, so we don't have many, so really, so we'll see. We'll see in the future, hopefully not, because that means we continue in the FA Cup and especially Champions League, and and we will see. If not, we'll have the this time in summertime. Last one before the embargo, please, sir. Hola Pep, Al Bernal del Diari Ara. Barça is the winter champion of, of La Liga, which less points than City, which is second in Premier League. Do you think that Premier League is every season more and more competitive? And what is your opinion about the fight for the, for the title in La Liga? Thank you. Uh, no, that doesn't mean uh, that you have more points than Barcelona, it means uh, of course, it doesn't matter what happened that season. The, the Premier League is is incredible tough. So you don't realize how tough it is until you are here for the amount of games, the weather conditions, the later regeneration for is uh, is tough. But it's, it's what it is. And the options from Barcelona, Barcelona is on top in the league. I think, of course, still there are many games to play and everything can happen. But I think Barcelona, with a lot of experience they have in these kind of situations, when everybody's fit to recover. To recover points, Barcelona, when the the competition, the Liga is getting to the last part of the season, you know, and maybe they drop points in the beginning of the season, but when they arrive in the right moments, February, March, and they know in every game 
if you win, you are close to win the title. I think it will be difficult for the other ones to, you know, to to catch them. But in football, everything can happen. Embargo for 10:30 on Sunday night, please, guys.